back to another video. So today is the day where we have got our first visual leak for Just Cause 4. Now what's even crazier is like what, two days ago I was asking you guys, uh, we was doing a vote saying do you think we're going to see a visual leak for the game before E3 or around the E3 time or do you think we're going to, you know, basically get nothing and loads of us were vouching uh, for seeing a visual leak for the game. Now, it's happened! Today was the day. It happened on Steam and this is the leak. This is what was revealed, essentially the cover-up for the game. Now, of course your first intentions are this is fake. Now, it doesn't just come from one source. It came from like multiple sources, people did take screenshots, etc, etc. So, just to clear up a few things in terms of the image itself. I was watching a video from a guy called Potato where he was analyzing the picture super, super in depth. Now, he's a guy that has done mods and so forth and he wanted to check out the model of, you know, the character on the Steam leak versus the actual character in Just Cause 3. And it was something to do with his grapple basically being super, super like accurate. So it was too detailed to be a leak if that makes sense. Now the fact that it comes on Steam is one thing. But then Christopher Sundberg, as you all know, did put out a tweet a couple of days ago saying, you know, it's before E3 where games get leaked, etc, etc. If we want to revert back to the other things he was saying about Just Cause 4, you know, blowing shit up forever, reeling things in, etc, etc. And then finally, he basically liked an image on Instagram from an account called Just Cause Base, which is a super cool account, basically. If you don't follow that, you're missing out on a lot, but he liked their picture when they did post about Just Cause 4. So all of this stuff is super interesting. Christopher Sundberg is a very, very big name uh, behind the Just Cause series, of course. And considering he didn't respond to any, you know, actual replies to his tweets for this, but just liking a picture has clearly all linked together. Now, I know a lot of people have also been talking about the image size and it kind of being like the main thing on the Steam page and according to Potato, again he didn't really know but it's pretty much worth sharing if you pay well, like a certain amount of like um, money and advertisements on Steam, the more they advertise your game, which is pretty standard logic I guess, um, but the more you're going to give them, the more they're going to throw out your game on the main page. So hey, the guy who has done this on Steam is of course a god. He could possibly lose his job, but he will be forever a god. Now, also another thing, just to seriously keep you guys on the right track, because I see people telling me, Super Rebel, you got to calm down, this game is not happening, um, you need to slow down with these leaks. Walmart, alright, everything they predicted in their original leak from Rage 2, Assassin's Creed of course, and then Just Cause 4, all of the games that have predicted more or less, um, that are kind of like in being teased, I guess you could say, have actually come to life. You know, it's all happening. Just Cause 4 is on that list. It's in that top five list. So that kind of pushes me on to think it's super, super real. All right, this isn't just your standard leak. Now, when you guys get in the comment section below, and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. A huge part of me is definitely saying this is the official cover up, but I don't think it is the official cover up, and that's simply by the number four just being white and you know the whole text being white. I feel like that's not something that would be a thing. Uh, we do know they usually have like that red theme going on. So when you take a look that there's no red in there and it looks kind of too bland, then yeah, it kind of makes you think. But what I think is happening is possibly a screenshot of some kind has been leaked, and then this is how it has all occurred but then just to add to that as well because there's more stuff honestly there is a ton of stuff we can talk about but back with just cause 3 um, before E3 time this screenshot was revealed for the game and of course the game looked nothing like this I mean sure you can see certain similarities but as far as the game itself and you know the sunset etc it didn't look like this so whether this is just a game art or an actual like screenshot of in-game footage we of course do not know Know that but we know this is the first leak we have got up to date that's a visual leak and it does look super super interesting Rico does look more or less the same um, but everything is too detailed to just be a basic leak 
and it makes you wonder what is going to be the story of that game. If you want to look back with Just Cause 3, it was of course the Eden Spark and all that sort of stuff. So sure, this whole doll theme can go on, but who the heck knows? Now, it has also been put on 4chan as well, so when 4chan covers stuff, um, it's one of those things. But then it was put on Kotaku, and Kotaku is one of those things that is a very, very trustworthy source, I guess you could say. Extremely trustworthy, in fact, so... We have no reason but to not believe it's just a standard leak, but when you take a look at all the small clues we have been getting, like I mentioned from Christopher Sundberg, E3 Around the Corner, and it just simply being due for another game in the series, it seems so real. But guys, get in the comment section below, let me know what you think. That's going to wrap up this video here. Subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already, and if you've missed the previous Just Cause 4 videos, where we have covered previous leaks and even given ideas on what we want to see in the game, then check that out. There is a playlist in the description below but i will see you in the next one till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos